let's discuss a programming question length of last word so the problem statement is given a string s consists of upper and lower case alphabets and empty space character so we have to return the length of last word and the last word means the last appearing word if we loop from left to right in the string and if the last word does not exist return zero for example if you see in this example so the length of the last word is five now let's see one more example which is not uh, present here and the string is this one so uh, what's the length of the last word in this case so the length of the last word is one so this is a space we have to ignore that and then we have to return the length of the last word so in this case it is a uh, so it is one so this is the problem statement and now let's uh, discuss how we can solve this problem let's discuss how we can solve this problem so in this problem we have to find the length of the last word so what we can do is we can start iterating the string from the end and whenever we encounter the first space till that point whatever the count is the count of the last word for example in this case if we start iterating from uh, from the last and till uh, the first space is encounter the count is five so five we return 5 but what about this case now if the string is a then a space then in this case the length of the last word is 1 but uh, in the uh, from the last the first character is a space so we have to write a code in such a way so that uh, till the first character is not encounter we have to skip all the spaces so we have to handle that case as well so i mean this case is pretty simple and in this case we have to ignore all these spaces till first character is encounter and then we have to count uh, ca count the length till the next space is encounter so in this case the output is 1 now uh, let's discuss the code so uh, the first condition is if the string is empty simply return zero uh, so i declare one variable count which is initialized with zero so if a string is empty return zero else i declare one variable in which i have assigned the string length minus one so if we take this input then the string length is 11 so here i assign 10 and this while loop so this loop is uh, so here i am removing a space character from the end so in this case uh, the uh, when we start iterating from the end the first character which is present at string length minus one is d so which is a non-space character so if the cu current character so if the character present at uh, this current length so current length is uh, the string length minus one so it is the last index if it is non-space then simply break the loop and we don't have to remove the space character from the end as it is not uh, present so uh, then we run this loop where we start from the current length so current length is 10 so 10 then uh, and uh, the terminating condition is if i is uh, so this loop will run if i is greater than or equal to 0 if it is less than that uh, in that case this loop will break and here we are checking if we encounter the space then simply break the loop else increment the value of count so for d uh, it is non-space so count is incremented and then uh, we have decremented uh, the value of i so now it uh, goes to l again we incremented it so it's a non-space then r again we incremented it it's non-space and for every iteration the length is decremented as we are doing i minus uh, so i and this decrement operator then o then we increment its count then w we increment its count and then after that it is a space so we came out of uh, so we break this loop so when uh, when there is a space we break this loop and we return it uh, its count which is five now let's see this case if the string is a and then a space so now in current length in this case 
1 is assigned the length is 2 and here we are assigning a string length minus 1 then we run this loop while the the value of current length is greater than or equal to 0 so to handle this case now suppose if all the character is a space and here uh, the character present at current length which is 1 is a space so this condition is false and we decrement the value of current length which is 0 and now after that it is non-space character so we break this loop and the value of current length is 0 so 0 is assigned in this variable i and it is greater than or equal to 0 and the value present at this index is non-space character so this condition is also script, uh, skipped and we increment its value which is 1 and in next iteration so this condition uh, so we termin uh, we came out of this loop because when we decrement the value it is minus 1 so this condition is not true so we return 1 so this is how we can solve this problem so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video